2019 Ram 1500 Laramie Drivers Notes Review King of the Hill The 2019 Ram 1500 is the newest full-size truck to the market, though the upcoming 2019 Chevy Silverado isn't too far off. We've driven a few models so far, from the base spec tradesman up to the kitted out limited variant. Modern trucks are expected to do everything from towing a boat, hauling mulch or carrying a family of five on an extended road trip. The days of simple, single-minded trucks have long since passed. Our tester this week is a mid-grade Laramie model. It has quite a few creature comforts, heated and ventilated leather seats, front buckets, a larger U-connecting flotainment screen, along with features like blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, automatic high beams and a bed liner. There's no moonroof, wireless charging or heated second row seats, but it's still extremely well appointed, especially compared to its forebears. That said, it doesn't come cheap. All in, this truck costs just under $55,000. Editor-in-Chief Greg Migliori, the 2019 Ram 1500 is simply the best truck in the market. It's powerful, comfortable, brash and the embodiment of what a full-size pickup should be. The Hemi V8 is always the first thing I notice when I test one, and it's smooth and potent in this 4x4 Laramie. Ram has wisely expanded its engine selections in recent years, though the V8 remains my favorite. The Ram's design always grabs me. It's generally the buffest looking truck in this segment, though at times in the last decade or so it has veered into cartoonish proportions. For 2019, it's a clean look with smooth lines and curves that convey a sense of power. I love the new grille, and Rams always have a good deal of chrome, that's cool with me. Inside, this model was surprising quiet underscoring the premium vibes. The latest version of Uconnect works well and is intuitive. Plus, there's a nice balance of knobs, buttons and dials. Everything is easy to use and understand. The leather looks and feels upscale, the seats are comfy yet supportive, and the configurable center console is a clever feature. This RAM is fairly loaded up, but even when we tested a more basic tradesman a few weeks ago, I had similarly favorable impressions. It's an all-star truck. Associate Editor Reese Counts, I really hate to simply parrot what Greg said, but I'm quite enamored with the Ram. It really is the best of the bunch. It's handsome, though I do miss the crosser grill, powerful and has an interior that's simply unmatched in terms of design and space efficiency by anything short of a minivan. There are pockets and cubbies everywhere and the center console is large enough to double as an above-ground pool. The outgoing model already had the best and most refined ride and handling in the class. The story is even better for 2019. God bless that coil spring suspension. There's also a fair bit of isolation from road noise thanks to laminated windows. The steering is numb but direct and provides far more control and confidence than trucks from just a few years back. I don't need a full-size truck in my life, my hair still rests with the Chevy Colorado ZR2 or Honda Regaline, but the Ram sure is a sweetheart. Associate Editor Joel Stocksdale, I am quite impressed with the Ram 1500 for a variety of reasons. Chief among them is the way it drives. It hits a happy medium for me between the ultra-comfy if slightly disconnected F-150, and the truckiness and great steering of the Titan. Basically, the steering is really tight and precise for a pickup, and it's stiff enough that it corners solidly and feels like a truck, but it has enough refinement that you would be comfortable driving it anywhere and everywhere, including transporting a bunch of furniture, as I did this week. And of course the Hemi V8 is an enjoyable companion every time. It's a bummer it's not more efficient, though. Hopefully the 48-volt electric assist makes a noticeable difference when it becomes available. I was also bowled over by the infotainment in the truck, and it wasn't even the ultra-fancy 12-inch version. It was the mid-level, and it's all you would ever need. The screen is incredibly bright and sharp. 
The rear view camera is extremely high quality and looks basically high definition on the beautiful screen. Everything is as responsive as the best tablets, too. I know we gush over FCA infotainment a lot, but there's a reason for it, and the RAM has some of the best implementations yet.